This short video is a lesson in how one should not make assumptions about components. A 475A came into the museum for repair that had a problem in the DM44 option. The reading was slow, could not be calibrated, and sometimes just stopped with minus 56 volts displayed, regardless of the button settings. I tried all the obvious remedies, including reseating all the socketed ICs, because the sockets were the notorious TI versions. The DM44 uses the two-chip LD110111 A to D converter. Replacing those did not cure the problem. There was in fact minus 56 millivolts at the input to the A to D converter in most cases. So something was wrong with the input path. You can see from the schematic that the input follows a complicated path through the range and function push button switches. I applied contact cleaner to the switches and checked for continuity between the contacts in the various positions and found no problems. The input goes through an 820k ohm resistor to the A to D input, shunted by the op amp circuit here, which together constitutes a low pass filter. The op amp circuit is connected in all cases except the 20 mega ohm resistance range. So I started to focus on this circuit. The two capacitors are some type of plastic dielectric, probably polystyrene, known for low leakage and, one might assume correctly, low failure rate. However, when I disconnected the capacitors, the DM44 worked correctly, albeit slightly noisy, without benefit of the low-pass filter. The capacitors showed some leakage when measured on a multi-tester. Other similar capacitors showed no leakage. I had some 0.01 microfarad polystyrene capacitors, so I kludged two assemblies of 0.02 and 0.03 microfarad and soldered these in. The DM44 then worked correctly and could be calibrated. The low pass filter is sometimes called a zero offset filter because there's no DC path from the op amp to the output, therefore offset of the op amp output cannot affect the filter output. The filter is more completely described in three articles in Electronic Design News linked to in the description below. Curiosity led me to do an LT SPICE simulation of the low pass filter. This is a plot of the input of the A to D versus frequency showing 12 dB per octave attenuation, verifying that it is a two pole filter.